my lovies um i'm back after christmas break um i haven't been very well either so um if i sound a bit hoarse or cough <laughs> it's because i haven't been very well so i am going to do these two molds um i got these from timu um i will link in the description below um I'm going to use UV resin and I've got some alcohol inks I'm going to use to colour the UV resin. I hope you're all well and I hope you had a fabulous Christmas and New Year. Um, so yeah, let me just get some UV resin and some little pots, get the colours out I'm, I'm going to do. This is holographic by the way. Can you see that guys? There you go. This one isn't, this is just a little... A little cat um, mold little pendant that I'm gonna do um, and uh, let me get this resin sorted and I'll be back with you in a second okay right I've put some UV resin in each one of these um, and I'm using this uh, if you can see it I can't read it because I haven't got my glasses on. But this one is caramel. Um, oops, if I can get the lid off. There we go. I'm just going to put... Oh, I, have, I haven't opened this one yet. Um, use my scissors. Just snip off the top. Just that. That's it. Right. Just going to put one two drops just going to do two drops uh, this one is black Oops. oh I think that one's been leaking a little bit I gave these a bit of a shake before um, I restarted Um, this one is bronze gold. Oh, that's nice. Nice shimmery colour. And this one is yellow green. Oh. This one doesn't want to open. Go. One, two. Okay. Oh, and that one has gone all over my hands. So did the black. So I'm going to have nice coloured hands. Okay, right. Let's just give them a bit of a stir. I'm not going to stick to one colour in each one. I'm going to kind of mix them up a bit. Uh, oops. Need to... Almost stirred the black with the bronzy colour in it on the stick. Let's give this a mix. Oh, that's mixed really well. I hope the UV um, works. With these colours and I haven't put too much in. I want them to look nice. 
is this one in this is the caramel I might, I might pop a little bit more resin in that one let's move this back a second probably have too much resin now but <laughs> I can always find another mould to use or just do do more of the same Very good. and these can be used for um, pendants, earrings, um, keychains because they've got the little the little bit that creates a hole in it so that will be so you can put a jump ring through um so yeah right now then i'm gonna pop these across there so i've got some room to move around i'm gonna do the cat first i'm gonna do a black cat but with a like a caramel colour moon. I know it's supposed to be a moon, but um, I'm going to use also the ball end of this to help me get it where I need it to be. So there we go. This, this black seems quite thick. And also, it needs to go through the leg parts. I might need to use the thinner ball ball end, <coughs> which I've got here. I've got a thinner one here. That's it. That's better. So then I can pull that through the cat legs. A tail bit here but I want the caramel to caramel colour to go round it. I wonder if it will work. Right, we'll see. We'll see. Let's put the caramel colour in. Or should I put the sparkly on? No, I'm gonna do the caramel. I talk to myself quite often so no <laughs> don't worry about it. If you can't talk to yourself, who can you talk to? Uh, uh, especially when you're crafting. Oh, well, but that's got a bit of overspill there. Never mind, I'll dra just drag it down. Hopefully it'll go back in then. Has it gone in? a bubble there. Okay. Got a hair. Where do the hairs come from? I'm in my shed, there shouldn't be any hair. <laughs> it's mad. I think the resin creates hair actually. Out of thin air. It must do. Sent to try us this stuff. Do you guys get random hair when you're doing resin and other craft projects and you've no idea where it comes from? I do all the time. If if I was doing it indoors, I would expect there to be hair in it because I have cats, I have a dog, so there would be hair in it. But out in my shed they don't come in here so there we go <clears throat> that might just need topping up I'm going to just put that under the light I 
Well, let's start the other one. <clears throat> okay, right. I'm going to start with this one. This is the sparkly, bronzy colour. Oh, that's nice. I like that colour. That's really pretty. Really pretty, that colour. Let's do the star, that colour as well. This resin's quite thick, this one. I don't know if that's because it's really cold in here or whether it's the make. I mean, it came from Timu, so this one. I'll show you what, which one it is in a minute and I'll link it below. Um, but this is a Timu UV resin. I bought. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of the first time I've used it so this is like trying it out as well. So I just scrape some of that the end of that oh, and I've got it in the in between there as well look there we go let's just give that a bit of a wipe there we go right let's put that on again right I'm going to do two colours in this one. I'm going to do black at the bottom. And I'm going to do that, I think. And some of this colour. sure it goes right up to the top otherwise you won't have a hole for your jump ring let's try green on that one and then I'm going to do some this colour down the sides. To make it look like it does in autumn when it starts to go brown. That's pretty. And then <coughs> I think I might put some in the middle of here. Also, I've used up the sparkly one, haven't I? So, <laughs> three colours in this one. Oh, 
little bit more here. There we go. Oops. And then push it back. See if I've got enough of this colour to fill the middle up. I'll have to give it a good scrape. I might have to top it up with some clear. I think I might have to top all these up with a bit of clear because I didn't quite mix up enough colour for all of them. But that's fine. I'm not sure you could do necklaces with these because um, not necklaces I meant earrings because how can you get two earrings the same unless you're just doing the same color just one color and maybe putting a sticker on the top or something or putting a flower inside it bubble there. Um, it's going to be really difficult. Um, <clears throat> how much of this green have I got? Not much. Let's do a green heart. I mean, you can even maybe um, put these on some elastic and create um, oops um, create bracelet with it different colors if you do the the colors similar you could maybe create a bracelet there's a bubble just there we don't want bubbles There we go. Right. It's funny, isn't it? Once you put the light on, you can see the bubbles, which is not very good because it starts curing as soon as you put the light on. Okay, well, there's not much I can do. Well, the cat cured, but I don't know if you can see, it receded just here. Can you see that, guys? It's receded, so I've got a little space there. I'm going to have to fill that in with some... Um, see if I've got any black left. I've got a little bit in there. Just to fill in that little bit. Let's just put the light on again. Yeah, I think that. There we go. That was lucky. Let's pop that there. So while that's um, under the light, I'm just going to clean out these because otherwise, while they're near the light, the well, the resin will dry in them. I mean, you could pick it off, but it's much easier just to wipe it out while it's wet. So that you can use them again. And this one started to get sticky. And this green one. Oh, the light's gone on. I like to put it under two or three times just to make sure 
that the um, resin is curing. Oops. Because if it, if it's not, especially if it's got colour on it, because the colour um, kind of prohibits the actual UV going right the way through. And because this one is not a um, like a see-through um, mould, like like this, the light would go through this. But because that one's a blue one, the light won't go through it. So <clears throat> hopefully, I'm just tapping them. I'm not sure that one. I might have to. Oh, that one's not. The leaf one's not cured yet, but some of the other ones are. The, the cat is. Okay, let's demold the cat. See what this one looks like. Oh, that's pretty, guys. That is very pretty. It's very dainty. I do think it needs topping up though, so I might just pop it back in and just top it up with a clear layer. Make sure it's. Just top it up with a clear layer of um, resin just to give it a little bit of strength. where it needs to go. Resin's pretty good. It kind of, even with the um, epoxy resin, resin will go where it wants to go. So you can guide it, but in the end it will go where it wants to go. So I mean this is um, I might need a little bit more there. Um, because this is <clears throat> on this one it's got a ridge where i didn't put enough resin in so it's kind of filling in filling in that dip but if i put too much in it'll go over the edge and that's what resin does but if you've got a lip will tend to stop there. I think that is okay. Right, let's put that under back under the light. <coughs> oh, I had a wet wipe, I don't know what I've done with it. There we go, getting a fresh one. Right, let's see. It's a little bit sticky when it's been oh look can you see all that resin underneath guys that is not cured like this one let's try this side uh, that one is not cured either nope So I'm going to have to keep putting it under the light and hope for the best. Let's see if that clear layer is well, it's still a little bit sticky. Just put it under here for this one. Or onto the other side. Give it a second, second minute. So, guys, what have you done over Christmas? Have you done any crafts, or have you taken a break? 
um, like I did. Um, have you had a good Christmas? What did you do? Did you go away? Did you stay at home? Um, I know that some of us might have been home alone. If you were home alone, what did you get up to? Um, I, I was supposed to be home alone, but I ended up going to my son's place. Um, him and his girlfriend, oh sorry, his fiance, um, are having a baby in February. Um, and so I'll be becoming a nana for the ninth time nine grandchildren wow um <laughs> i'm only 49 um i don't feel that old <laughs> but um yeah i went there um and my son's fiance has got two girls who are i think 10 and 7 something like that anyway um I forget how old they are I'm, I'm rubbish with ages um but we had we had a nice day we had a lovely dinner um so yeah um i didn't end up being on my own so that was nice um so what did you guys do let me know in the comments below um i'm going to be doing um for the foreseeable future i'm going to be doing a mix of videos um it's not gonna be just resin um because the weather is so cold and it is really cold in this shed um i'm gonna venture inside um i won't do resin in my house because of the smell so i will be doing some decoupage um some vinyl decals um we'll see what other things um i get up to um i've got i bought from timu if you if you're a regular watcher of mine i bought um this from timu a while ago um it's a um uh what do you call it uh, um so so you can make your own molds it's a surround that clips all together <clears throat> and then you put your um, silicon, um, pour your silicon into it with your the item that you want to make a mould of and then um, once it's all cured you take it all apart, you can take all the bits off and so I, I bought that, I'm going to be doing that, I, I bought this from Timu and I want to make a silicon mould of it, um, yeah I want to make a silicon mold of it and then do um a resin mold of different colors um and make it you know really pretty um <clears throat> it can like hang on the wall or i can make it into like a big coaster plan pot holder things like that so that would be really good um oh it's getting cold in here just gonna wait for this light to go off one more time um, when I do that I'm just going to clean my tools okay. let's see if they've cured now this one would have because it was um, it's clear resin on Sticky on the other side. 
I leave him here, um, they will eventually cure on their own. But I think this is my favourite today. It's set, it cured nicely, um, and it's really pretty. Um, a bit sharp on the edge. I might have to just sand the edge edges down, but I think that's absolutely beautiful. Don't you? And as I put the light on here, um, this is the best way to get spilt resin out, although it's still a bit sticky underneath. So <clears throat> I am going to have to put the light on it one more time to get the rest of that resin out um, and get my mould clean. Um, I did put some clear in this one hopefully it has set nope it didn't set all the way through I was hoping to show you the holographic but that didn't work either oh so it's been a bit of a day of fails um, apart from the cat we did have a good result with the cat um, but never mind we uh, these things are sent to try us and um, anyway guys uh, I'm getting this all over my fingers now I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that to cure I think and then I'll come back later and sort it out but anyway guys I hope you're all well and um, come back and see my next video if you like and subscribe to my channel like my videos and press the notification bell you'll get a notification when I upload my next video um, I have a new camera um, I'm going to be doing a unboxing because I haven't unboxed it yet it came uh, a day or two ago um, I had a bit of a doodah with Amazon with it because I ordered a new camera and uh, I ordered two items one item turned up but the camera didn't yet my notification said it had been handed to me um, so I got a refund for that and ordered another camera which this time I had to give a password to the driver so it definitely turned up so I'll be doing an unboxing video um, and then hopefully after then I will be using my new camera um, hopefully the quality will be much better because um, at the moment I'm filming on my mobile phone um, and this one is like a you know a GoPro type camera it's not a GoPro but it's it's similar um, and hopefully we'll have much more um, better quality videos um, and I won't sound so uh, tinny <laughs> in my videos um, but anyway guys so I'll see you in the next video Take care of yourselves, have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are in the world. And um, happy 2024. Take care, everybody.